In this video, we are going to upload our package that we created for Mozilla Firefox into Microsoft Intune. And we did it already for Google Chrome, and there we went very detailed step by step. This time I'm going to go a lot faster. So if you want more details about all the steps and all the options, look the previous videos about Google Chrome. So let's get started. Let's go to our endpoint.microsoft.com. And there we go under Apps. And there we go Windows. And here we see the previous app that we created, the Win32 app about Google Chrome. Let's click on the plus add to add a package. Then we have the different type. We are using Win32 Windows app and then click select. Here we need to select an app package file, which will always be in Intune Win format. So I'm going to do browse here. And under our underscore Intune Mozilla Firefox package, on, on, in the output folder, we have the file with dot in, in win. So let's select that. And it won't start to upload until the end of this wizard. We click OK. And then we have the name. Let's call this Mozilla Firefox. And I'm going to cut out the version number because we're going to need it a bit further down here. So I'm just going to cut that out. And then I'm going to delete the rest, so Mozilla Firefox. And I'm, I'm jumping ahead here in paste to the app version 90.0.2. And then let's add it to description. Let's do something simple. Let's call it, we do double asterisks to do bold, Mozilla Firefox, because this is going to be visible in um, the company portal. So this could be good. And then put GBN's uh, secondary web browser or something like that. Whatever is going to be visible in the company portal, the self-service. Publisher's name is Mozilla. Category, I haven't added any, but I will take productivity. This you get out of the box. This time, let's choose this as a feature app. So it's if I had multiple, now I have none actually, or actually I think I have um, maybe a few, but this is going to be extra highlighted due to do this. So people, so if you have multiple applications in the company portal, if you check yes here, this one going to be more visible. As URL, I'm going to just add a fake one. Not, uh, brins cloud. And we can call it uh, firefox.html. I'll copy that and for privacy, I'll put just privacy. Privacy. Developer owner skip notes. This is more for admins. I put it's me, I've done it. And I put the date 13 August, 2021. It's a Friday, the 13th. Then we have our logo that we downloaded in the previous video. We go up one step. And down here we have the logo for Mozilla Firefox. Let's choose this one and hit OK. And this logo is going to be visible in the company portal as well. But I suggest to always have it for all packages, even if it's not in the company portal. It's nice for the other admins. Let's go next here. Install command. We go back to our uh, source folder. I do Windows E for the Explorer. Then we go underscore Intune and then Mozilla Firefox and in the source. And we're going to run the CMD file this time. So I'm going to do a fake rename, F2, Control A, Control C. And then I'm going to paste that one here. And for uninstall, we will run the other script in the same place. I'm going to do the same, Shift uh, F2, Control A, Control C paste here. And remember why we don't put the version number here, because this in uninstallation works for any version, as long as it is a 64-bit. We definitely want to use a system, because we want to install into program files and have permission. We want to control the restart, so no specific action, and we don't need to add any return code. So we go next. Requirements. I'm going to do this one simple. I'm going to say only 64-bit OS. And you have to have at least 19 or 9. If not, it won't install. I like to put the disk space. So let's quickly look how big this one is in size. So let's put Firefox here and hopefully show up. 205 megabyte. I'll put that. 
205 megabyte, no other requirements. Detection rule, here uh, we have two options. If we go with manual configuration detection rules, we get three other options. We click on plus here. And actually out of these three, we can only use two because this is not an MSI installer. We can't use MSI. So we can use either file or registry. Let's use file. So in order to decide if this is a successful installation, the detection rule will see if this is true. So we can look for like firefox.exe and verify that it's the correct version. So in order to do that, we'll have to go to program files. So I'll go to C, program files, Mozilla, Firefox, and hopefully there is a firefox.exe here. We can already take the path. So I'm gonna copy that and paste here. And then we can take the file also. Well, we know it's Firefox, firefox.exe. Then detection method. We could say that file and folder just exist. But that will create problems in the future if we want to upgrade because it doesn't say which version this is. So let's say that we want to check the version. And then we want the version to be equal. And let's see which version. I guess it should be 90.0.2. But let's verify that that's really the case. So we are in the installation in the program folder. Let's take property on this file. Let's go to the details tab. And it is indeed, the file version is actually a different one than the product. So if we want to secure up, we could say um, greater or equal to this version, if it updates. Then we have associate 32-bit app with a 64-bit client. We are a 64-bit client most likely, but is this a 32-bit app? No, because if it was, then this would be x86. So we are good here. Let's click OK. That's our detection method. Very important you get that right. Dependency, does F Mozilla Firefox need Adobe Air or .NET Framework or something else in order to install? No, so we can skip that. Supersedence, if we had the previous version of Mozilla Firefox that we wanted this one to replace, we could add the old one here, but we don't have. So we are already at assignment. So required we did in the last videos and that actually force push it and we did it very silent. Let's put it in the company portal this time and make it available. Let's make it available for all users. And in this case, we can show the toast notification and everything. We can still click here and we can download it in the foreground because they will install it from the company portal. And it's always as soon as possible, not availability, but when it run. So we make this available in the company portal directly. If we wanted it for, let's say, for Monday or something, we could put that and say, OK, on um, uh, Monday, then we will see it. But now let's make it available as soon as possible. So we hit OK here. And now we are nearly ready. We're just going to review everything. So here we can review that everything we have done looks good. I think it looks very good. So let's hit create. And it's actually now it will start to upload the file. So it's saving. So it have created the application, but it's not ready yet. It's still uploading. We click here and I'm going to clear some uh, previous one. So here we uploaded the logo and that was a success. We can remove that as well. We created and now it's uploading. It's have done only 23% at the moment. And once this is finished, we're going to in the next video, look in the company portal and install Mozilla Firefox. So I went a bit fast through all these options. If you want more information, go and look previous video about Google Chrome. There we went through all the options and we used a lot of scripts. Now we're close, 98%. So soon it should be ready and up uploaded. Perfect. And the best way to see that it's working is if you see the blue here, edit. So we could still change things if we want. This looks really good. 
So in the next video, we will uh, go to a machine and open company portal and install it from there. Very well done. Thank you very much.